Now let's look at our base defense. So we are a 4-2-5 defense by base. You can look at it from a defensive perspective or we can look at it from an offensive perspective. We started to look at how we align to things more from an offensive perspective. So as you look up here at the diagram, a simple two by two set. We'll play with a Sam outside backer inside number two. We'll play three over two, meaning we have three defenders to their two splits to the field, whereas we have two defenders to their two splits into the boundary. That's how we operate. We just have to understand how we operate and then be able to adjust from there. So where are we strongest? We're obviously strongest to this three over two side. We like that in our four, two, five, we play a six box, which means we have six players committed to run first, meaning that you're usually gonna have one linebacker free to run. And we focused a little bit more on speed in our defense to get linebackers that could run sideline to sideline. We know with the base cover four that we play, we were okay if a team ran four verticals. Where were we weak though? With these two players over here to the boundary playing two over two, we knew that we were weak with quick game into the boundary. We knew that we would be easily manipulated when teams were looking at us from a game plan basis on where they would attack us. So then I looked at where do we place our people and what complementary things do we run? How we play trips then? We will tie our backside safety in towards field support. So with that, we felt, where are we strong? Okay, we still have that six box, which we love. We still have that four vertical protection, which we love. We have that additional player that can support the run into the boundary. So we knew against three by one sets, we were attacked more towards the field or more towards the trip side than we were attacked backside. Base way we play empty is just to drop out into quarters, which is extremely safe. Okay, so that's the strength of it. The weakness of it was we didn't have players that could challenge the releases of the number three receiver and the number two receiver accordingly. More specifically, how we played coverage, we were having issues with route concepts that you see back here behind me specifically to this two over two side, what we call like spacing manipulation, sending one person vertical, sending another person inside or outside. It was difficult for us to defend in our base cover four, based upon the leverage we would play with the corner, based upon a drop of an inside backer, etc. We also were susceptible to what we called isolation reads, where you could manipulate our base cover four and you could identify that now we're going to turn that into man and we're not going to have any post help. So when you look at all of these things, offensively, we knew where we were going to be attacked. So defensively, how we were going to counter this. Us being a base cover four team with the four man pressure, the rest of this is all going to be our four man pressure cover three complements because our complementary coverages to our base defense were to run more 3 deep rotations, run more cover three concepts to attack some of these weaknesses, and then at least force a quarterback to have to adjust and read things on, a fl on the fly, as opposed to an offensive coordinator that could just manipulate plays against our defensive system.